I tell you, the world 2020 obviously is the first seven months of bizarre. But there's, there's a lot of weird stuff going on. Add to the bizarre list the fact that the New York Rangers on August 3rd are playing a hockey game at noon in a fanless coliseum. It's just it's crazy. Uh, obviously, uh, I'm waiting for you to. We're 13 seconds in, so you know it was, it was a weird weekend for uh, for my Mets. Uh, oh, when, what did something when, happen when the ever mercurial Yoannis Cespedes uh, checked out? I mean, literally checked out of the hotel uh, with not a trace to be found, uh, without telling the team. But you know, this this is this is a guy who, uh, granted, has had a very uh, mixed career yeah. in New York, despite leading us to the helping lead us to almost the promised land in the World Series. But I know, I know you got, you've got, you've had a lot of fun with Yoannis and the wild boar incident and whatnot. <laughs> As I say, on every occasion that I'm able to, I loathe the Mets. And when I saw this the other day, I'm like, I thought it was a joke. Actually, I lo- I was, something popped up on Twitter. I'm like, this has to be a joke. And then you read more, and it's legit. The fact that. He didn't, Ioannis didn't show up at the park. <laughs> right. They show up at his hotel room and his hotel room is empty. You know, he left under the cover of darkness. Yeah. If it's COVID related, it's, let's just put this out there. Cause yeah, you, you know, if, if he's concerned, if he has a family member, okay. I'll, the, the problem is, you know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. This guy hasn't given us a lot of reason to, 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 to actually give him the benefit of the doubt. So unfortunately it's just, a, it's, it's a life lesson folks. Um, you know, just, just be transparent, even if you right. are running from a wild boar. And break both your ankles. It was otherwise a good weekend. It was actually my mom's 84th birthday oh, yesterday. So, so happy we went birthday, up. Mrs. Seymour. We, That's yeah, fantastic. Yeah, we, we, saw, we saw Marilyn. And my sister actually is born on the same day. So uh, uh, we had a, a – you know, the second time I've seen my parents since COVID and the rest of my family. Um, now, my sister called me up and said, hey, Tim – we're ordering, um, we're probably, I was like, don't go to any trouble. She's like, you know, we're going to order just up some sandwiches. She's like, what kind of wedge do you like? Oh. I remember that expression, wedge, but I, I haven't ordered a wedge in, in a long time. And, and granted, if I was, um, this brings in kind of the regional monikers or, 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 or titles for sandwiches, depending on where you grew up, right? So if, if, you, were, if you were in Philly, you, you, you're ordering a hoagie, right? I think. Uh-huh. In you are. Uh, Boston, you're ordering a grinder, mm-hmm. uh, I think. I think. Um, I don't know where they're ordering submarines. Let's just clarify. I think the term wedge is a yeah. very Westchester County, New York City it's thing. T- I, I grew term, up man. with yeah. a yeah. roast beef wedge, cheddar cheese, uh, salt and pepper, nothing else. Okay, that was my go-to. Now, oh, just oh, to no, be no, clear. Whoa, whoa. Okay, go where, ahead. Where's, where's the Russian? Where's the Russian on that? There is no condiment other than uh, salt and pepper. I'm a Why? dry wedge because that's mean, just the not, way I roll. It's, it's, a, it's a dry Sammy, bro. You should try it. Now, just, for, just so the folks in other areas of the country or the world, for that matter, yeah. understand, if you were to order a sandwich on a round roll, that's not a wedge. A wedge, by definition, <laughs> is the long roll. So the round would be like a club sandwich, right? Would that be a club? Or a club sandwich always has to be on bread. I think a club sandwich is its own thing. I think a club sandwich is on square bread. I think it is. And I think it has to have that extra slice of bread in there. I think it's got to be three slices to be a club sandwich. Well, that's now you're going, you know, so, now so you're getting into the pastrami world and the Reuben world, which, so by the way, what would you say is the, the national, dress. what's the national term for sandwich? Is it a hero? And we haven't used that one yet. Is it a hero? Great question. I, I don't know, folks. I, I think we need to, I think we need to know that. The well, other I one think that we I, should, we should yeah. add Subway here. Cause I know they happen to be big fans of the show and I got to do a lot of time for Subway. They changed the equation with the $5 foot long. With well, that they had to song. change the so equation now, after Jared. Jared went, went bad. So, uh, you know, that was, that was uncomfortable. You know um, what else now, not to say, not to do a sloppy segue <laughs> here, but you know what else is going bad? Um, this, this, you know, Banning TikTok, then, oh, by the way, you know, politically, it's probably not going to fly. So his, his people came to President Trump and said, hey, you may want to rethink this and let's pivot and let's get somebody to buy it. And now apparently the U.S. is the administration is brokering a deal between Microsoft and uh, TikTok or the parent owner, which is uh, ByteDance. Apparently, yeah. which, which is news to me. Maybe you were there that day at school. Uh, the U.S. is going to get some sort of investment banking fee on the back of this as well. Bully for them. I, I don't know how this is, is going to work, nor do I understand 
why they should. Because um, let's be clear, this would be the best investment bank in the world if you could force uh, people to have to sell and then stand in there and, and collect fees. I, I, look, I, 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 in, the, in the focus on China and, and control of the 21st century of the internet and technology and IP and IT and security, um, it, nowhere in there does it say you're supposed to get paid when you force uh, a company out of the United States because you're concerned. You made a great point on tonight's Fast Money that you thought it was a no-brainer for Microsoft. And, you know, I, I, I somewhat agreed with you. My point was this is clearly style drift, but it doesn't mean it's a bad move. And, and the move in the stock Microsoft today more than pays for what they probably have to pay for TikTok. So the market seems to like it. Well, if you think about where Microsoft is not positioned, um, they're not positioned in social. And in fact, uh, I, I would argue that 90% of their valuation is all enterprise. Um, and as we referenced sandwiches, we referenced a grinder. Grinder is also an app of a company called Match, and you know, you know, to to each his own. Um, but but I you know I point that out just to say that the world of social media and and that opportunity to grow both. Uh, your user base and your ability to monetize, and if anything, just to grow your, your multiple. Um, I think it's a no-brainer. Microsoft has, has noticeably stayed out of the social world or the consumer world. And granted, you know, call it LinkedIn, whatever you want. Um, but they, you know, when you think about uh, what's going on with gaming and Xbox and Azure, I think this totally makes sense. And why not take advantage of an environment where the government is basically you know, forcing duress upon this company. Uh, and if they're ever going to do any business in the United States, they need a U.S. partner um, yeah. or they get outright purchased by Microsoft. So uh, I, you know, look um, at, at 50 million or 40 million or 60 million. Um, I think it's a rounding error as we know for Microsoft. And, and I think their ability to get in the middle of this fray and be, like, I, I've never TikToked in my life. Frankly, I just brought it up behind me. It's not behind me anymore. Um, maybe the Chinese pulled it back in. But, but I mean, you know, someone's making a, a swimming pool in the back of a pickup truck. Um, some dude is sitting down at a table with a 12-pack of McNuggets in a white linen table and carefully cutting it up. Um, there's somebody with a fraternity paddle trying to hit a softball. I mean, <laughs> what is it about this? That's the TikTok. And, you know, I know you, you, you meant – Billion, I think, but it doesn't matter. I mean, either yeah, million, sorry. billion doesn't, it's, it's all around the area. I know. I did but with billion. that said, I mean, look, I think you make a good point. You know, they're getting into an area where they can, you know, maybe take on some of these people and it's a low risk, high reward deal. So I don't think they're risking all that much. Not like, unlike the Mets, you know, not risking all that much shoving JD Davis in left field where he plays the position like he's picking up hand grenades. But that's for another show. Too. <laughs> Look, all right. So I, I don't know. We're doing our best to avoid the Mets travails, uh, although you're not. Um, I was going to ask you, look, in a world where, first of all, Guy Adami has a beautiful family, happily married, um, is, is uh, uh, built himself a beautiful life through the normal social evolution that we all, at least that I also went through growing up. But if you were 18 today, um, and you were out, you know, cruising, um, what would be, you know, would you be, you know, using an app for that? And, and, uh, and what would be your app of choice? Because that's a great, you know, that's a great, you know, a great question that I don't know the answer to only because, you know, you know that I'm a bit of a dinosaur in terms of technology. And as I, I say, you are, but, and this, you know. and before we go to, cause we got to go, cause we're running up against it, as they say on the clock, but the next thing I buy on the, uh, on the interweb will be the first. So I'm probably not your target audience, but maybe we can just discuss that on tomorrow night's commercial break. Well, I, I'll, I'll say, and, and I'll just say, I don't want to be the young man calling your house, um, getting you when he's trying to get your lovely daughter. So uh, uh, I, 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 I pray for those boys. Uh, anyway, you, you the man, congratulations on all that you have there at home. Stay off the internet and let's go Mets.